Greetings Jedi Traders, David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the daily trend for end of the week, week 28, day 5, July 15, 2016. As always, please seek financial advisement when trading with your money as these videos are for educational purposes only. Support your knowledge in the market, see what's going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. All right, Jedi Traders, what a uh, world events in the last 24 hours as we do this uh, daily trend wrap up attempt coup a military coup in turkey we'll show you that chart here in a little bit but uh attacks in nice last night so uh gosh you know maybe the world one day will get uh, get the message but until then uh markets uh today low volume session as we ended off uh very low very low volume week. well i can't say low volume week but not much uh, trading action in the regular trading. I was all about the overnight sessions. Uh, leaving today, Friday, July 15th, with uh, some data there in the morning. Consumer price index, a lot of red star events. Consumer sentiment, a little bit down. Rig account this afternoon and Fed speakers throughout the week. Uh, poking at the idea of a December rate hike at this point. All right, looking at the uh, wrap-up for the week, uh, we had 21 setups, 275 ticks net. Uh, not so bad considering uh, uh, the market wasn't really moving, but way off our average there. But uh, attempted some uh, green setups. One big loss this week, not too bad. Uh, got back on it that day into the green. So today, looked at 81 ticks uh, to finish out the day, 21 ticks. The goal of today was simply look for as many charts and seeing one to two solid setups, and that's what we got today. And I was happy with that to walk home. All right, so let's start. What was that a, uh, market light last night? Thinking, all right, four days, right? Four days, Monday through Thursday. Overnight sessions are all up in the green. And then uh, we get into the U.S. regular, uh, sorry, get into the Asian session last night thinking, oh, the possibility of a market uh, turning down. And uh, there's the volatility. Well, actually, let's go to this chart first. This is what I saw at first as market uh, was setting up here. I got arrows all the way down. I got T3 moving averages underneath. Looks like a great setup. And then bang, right, <laughs> right back to the upside. So I said, all right, overnight session looks like it's uh, going to be the same volatility. And uh, there's the big picture of the overnight session. Coming into the pre-market, uh, I don't know what they were thinking. Thinking, uh, get on the bag wagon before it goes up uh, anymore. And sure enough, trend did continue up to that globe at Globex high pretty much that's where it stalled and from there on uh, got my uh, got my wish uh, of the market turning downside and again uh, while the uh, first possible entry was off the Globex high waiting for the highest confirmation of all charts in the red was the goal and there it was to the downside 50 under the beneath the 144 that's what you're looking for for confirmation of technical momentum and bang nq to the downside unfortunately got stopped out and with the kind of volume we've been facing decided let it go uh it did go and uh just let uh, the nq ride itself out a uh, nice little entry here on the ym on a pullback under the t350 uh first contract off and uh price action on pretty much five charts in the red same picture on the es es ran down really nicely so able to ride that a lot longer let me take a look here at the multiple charts time frame why that es looked like a great setup you can find that uh post here on my law a blog and then you can find it on twitter if you want to enlarge limit uh, image there there. but again using the vertical lines for time here you could see that my higher time frames were all in sync and the 50 underneath the 144 there and there it is there's the entry right there now the setup occurred prior but uh, waited for the proper entry sell signal with as many charts in sync uh, take one off and then ride it all the way down till it crossed over so very nice move on the ES and we had the same setup on the NQ unfortunately by the rules move that stop to break even today and unfortunately today it got me and uh, so stopped out uh at break even so only walking away on that first setup with a uh, 10 ticks had a pre-market move as uh i'll show you here in a little bit but markets uh had a nice little move up to globex high uh at the beginning of the session and then um and then pulled back so was able to get a long entry from the get-go all right let's jump right into the uh ad line as ad line uh had a nice little move today there it was to the upside 750 globex high up here market stalled and there was the major move of the day until it just rebounded and once again right up to the pivot and no more so love that a d line when especially you're in trend watching it stall and if it don't go any further mm, 
maybe time to exit the trade. All right, crude uh, been really struggling this week. Uh, 45, 46 is a lot of sideways action. Price action you can see uh, holding to the cam line a lot here, closing out almost the daily gap today. The rest of the indices today, ES to the downside, a little bit of stall here at the cam, up to the uh, one hour open range low, average low, and then back downside. Uh, same picture on the YM, nice move, initial move upside. A little bit in the 25 minute open range stuck here and then break down underneath the daily gap uh, down to the cam level. And then here is the uh, reaction on the turkey coup here as the market is now closed for the weekend. But uh, market drops uh, downside uh, after that attempt was uh, coming over the Twitter waves. All right, taking a look at Fibonacci levels. Uh, there it is. Again, we got all three to the downside today. Target low, target low, target low. So nice move. Uh, again, trend predictor this morning on the chart said long. And uh, but you know what? You got to trade. You got to trade the charts, guys. And when you trade the charts, you follow the trend. And there it was for today. Uh, to the downside, we went, hit those fib levels, and actually further down. How do we do on those daily gaps? Uh, daily gaps again. ES closing on a daily gap, 21.50.75. So we'll go ahead and clear that. NQ still the one only upside here. It's 46.43.50. The rest of uh, the indices here on the left, YM on top, ES on bottom, uh, has all remaining open gaps below. So <clears throat> if trend is to continue and pull back continuously next week, uh, we'll look to those open gaps. So make sure you got those. Uh, keyed in on your charts as levels of interest. Again, we said crude for the most part this week with open gaps below. Watch for that line of interest, 43.23, a recent swing uh, position. And as market really, uh, I said crude hanging in this 44, 45, 46 zone, uh, not going any further. Again, we have uh, open gaps still upside, 55.41. So it'll be interesting to see which way uh, the crude runs in the week ahead. Take a look at volume profile again. Uh, we have that gap up from uh, the other session. Still holding upside, pretty much even. Uh, ES almost closing out the gap here. We closed out the daily gap, closed out the VPOC here, excuse me. And NQ as well have a VPOC above. Treating those the same way. Again, I said crude sideways. Therefore, we got that 600-day VPOC. We just shifted this week, 45.40. And so we're kind of... Uh, holding on to that but very nice profile today value built there uh nq and es a little bit weaker why i'm very nice on the profile today all right taking a look at the daily trend let's take a look at the big charts here let's start with the crude working our way forwards on the crude today price action again overnight session very choppy and then into the uh early morning session there <clears throat> buy signal on uh four three charts in the green five charts in the green up here to the globex high a little another attempt there again uh, best action of the day was pre way pre-market and then here towards the end of the session but really uh, didn't uh, really didn't run away from there uh, as it closed out uh, there at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time and a little bit of residual trading afterwards. Taking a look at the YM again, uh, there's your whole session, not much uh, movement there. Again, sell signal there pre-market, pulls back and that was the move. That was the move we were looking for, AD lines downside. And price action, again, YM not closing out any other significant gaps, but nice move on the YM to the downside. Lift up, nope, no move. And that was about it. That was uh, the market close. Here you can see price action afterwards. This is our turkey coup here uh, down to uh, <clears throat> the sell signal, which was the last minutes of the chart here. So nice little temp there uh, at the uh, session close uh, for the week. But uh, again, not much uh, real movement here on the YM. It's all uh, encased right there. All right, take a look at the NQ. NQ, a little bit more movement today is uh, price action again overnight. Very choppy, very contrary to where uh, we've been all week. Price action again underneath the T350. There it was. Sell signal to the downside. Uh, again, was stopped out, but price action moved down. Price action lift. And then another attempt in the afternoon, but that's the turkey coup right there at uh, 430. So nice move uh, on the uh, NQ as it uh, finished out the session all the way downside, a little bit of a pullback. So huge drop, 76 to 50. Nice ticks to be made there in the last uh, session. Take a look at the ES. Again, ES across the board. Again, same picture here. Let's roll a little bit back. A little bit of chop action on the ES there. And again, that little lift that uh, I didn't mention there on the other charts here. Let's go back for a second. Taking a look, there's that There's that little lift, five charts in the green. So got a piece of that, a little pre-market action, but then closed it out waited for the entry to the downside. So both ESYM and NQ only uh, only was able to uh, 
ride the uh, trend on the NQ there. But there it is, nice little move right before the market uh, opening up, maybe anticipatory that the uh, price action was gonna continue upside, but no go. Overall trend for the day was to the downside. There's the sell signal and four to five charts, and we had and showed you that chart at the beginning. So very nice move, and there's your uh, post-session close as market uh, came off. Now, in reaction to that, there's your reaction, gold to the upside. Uh, any uh, rumors, news comes over, gold's um, the money to uh, the, uh, safe haven there. So price action again, choppy over the night session. Again, not a bad move overnight, uh, sell signal downside. This was the preferred move here as uh, gold really did finish up again near almost yesterday's highs. Uh, but there it was, last uh, minute uh, closure, and it just lifted together as the indices dropped down. So nice move towards the end on the close uh, for gold, but not much for the mid-session, and uh, what, no real major setups here in gold today, except uh, right there uh, towards the uh, gold open, where you had nice five charts in sync. All right, taking a look at the 6E euro is all downside today. There's a big trending move to the downside. Again, one attempt after another, sell signal, sell signal, sell signal. Uh, can't go wrong with that. One, two, three re-entries. Uh, again, anytime you uh, take a look at a pullback and then a re-entry, uh, always carries a little bit more risk, but that's trading, guys. You can't, uh, you, you can't know what's going to happen. You have to just uh, go with it unless you got some level of interest down here and you say, look, uh, I'm not, uh, that's a level I watch every day, and if uh, it, it if price action is right next to it, nah, I'm not going to take it. Look, if uh, you know this was a Fibonacci level right here, or this was a, a CAM level, whatever it might be, you might decide that might not be the best time or interest. All right, taking a look at the daily big pick as we roll into uh, next week. Again, uh, I'm ready each day for either direction. Doesn't matter what the big pick is, uh, ready to go uh, either way. So. Crude right now, still in a downtrend. If you're trading crude, watch for the res continued resistance here at the 50. Uh, watch for uh, price reaction to anything overseas that might uh, continue uh, from uh, the situation in Turkey. If it's nothing more than an attempt, market should be able to settle down. Uh, but again, watch the uh, price action uh, break above the T350 here, and then watch the 144 up here. Watch for price action on the 144. And I apologize. Uh, the T3 moving averages are down here. So we are in the green here. Watch for the 50 MA resistance to continue. Watch the 144 is the next level upside, 47.31. Otherwise, uh, on a daily, we sit between the 50 and the uh, 200 period moving average. Uh, watch for the 50 upside at 48. Once we break that 48, we've broken them up 144. Price action will take a while for that uh, 50 across that 144 again, like we did uh, back uh, some time ago there in the green. Uh, so it will take a little attempt to get there. But again, you're not wanting to miss out on the move. So this is a good start to oil rebounds here. Uh, we did not come down to the 200. Again, keep in mind the daily gaps, which are none below other than the level of interest, 43.23. So intraday, got to watch those intraday charts uh, for your uh, for your most uh, earliest entry. All right, let's take a look at the three indices as we roll into next week. Again, same situation. Watch for any overseas news. Uh, 50, way above the 50 and the 200 on the dailies. These lines up above are levels of interest uh, as these are uh, former uh, highs in the market. And so price action has broken through. Can't answer this week why other than perhaps uh, central banks infusing money. Uh, that's the news on the uh, Twitter waves. Whether you believe that or not, conspiracy theories, all that. Uh, price action moves, trend moves, green is green in the ticks. Uh, you trade the charts in front of you. Again, volume uh, under average to, uh, this week. So we got this major lift this week. A uh, little bit of a pullback here. There's our uh, post-session uh, uh, turkey uh, attempt at a coup there. Uh, so we will watch. We will watch the charts, uh, especially on the Sunday open into Monday to see the uh, support or resistance here at the 50 MA if it goes right through or if we just simply bounce back up. And uh, same thing over here on the ES and the YM to the downside. So again, you have to watch those intraday charts. You got to be ready in both directions. But again, still in an upwards trend, 50 above 144 in between the FIB levels right now. But uh, look for uh, price action to uh, come down, find support there on the 50 at least first, and then uh, 144 to be the next level downside. As long as that 50 is above the 144, the uptrend continues 
good for the ETF trader, uh, good for the longer term trader, but as far as the intraday, you have to be ready in both directions. All right, uh, Jedi traders looking ahead to next week. Uh, very light economic data next week as price action uh, uh, pretty much uh, moves into the housing mar uh, mortgage and uh, crude report. A uh, couple red star events. Again, home, home sales is pretty much what's on board for next week. And then just jumping ahead here as we headed to the last week of July, that's what we're looking at. Uh, we'll be looking at the FOMC meeting and the announcement at the end of the month. I don't think there's going to be any surprise at th this point. All right, uh, coming up, you want to check out my week 28 recap. Let me go ahead and show that to you quickly. Again, everything except for today's uh, data is posted there. Again, a little bit of a recap if you missed out this week. Uh, charts of the week, again, we mentioned those overnight sessions. There they are. Uh, huge moves on the overnights. Intraday uh, posted by Bloomberg here. Uh, after hours trading has just had these significant moves. So there again, I'm supporting that uh, by showing you both charts there. Trading hours have been uh, challenging. That's uh, for this week, uh, part of the reason why uh, why uh, numbers were uh, lower than usual. Again, uh, charts of the week, check it out. You wanna check out uh, or review some of those daily trends uh, videos are all posted there. So that's in the weekly recap. And then uh, if I'm able to get to it, uh, kind of reassessing a couple things, but uh, I usually do the futures, ETF and market cap leaders where each week I review, I like to review uh, not only the ETF futures, but key indices and industrials. So uh, taking a look at that, if I'm able to get it out this week, I will. If not, uh, <clears throat> you'll see that in the weeks to come. All right, uh, that concludes the uh, daily trend. Again, I'm always ready each day. Again, yet, uh, yesterday I want to reinforce, guys, a really good read, Day Trading Secrets. I'm not recommending his strategy. I'm recommending that you read his seven deadly sins to trading. I don't know if they're sins, but they are good strategies to get in place. It's free. It's on Google. Uh, just uh, type it in, Day Trading Secrets. It's a good weekend read. If you got a good disciplined trading book, please uh, take the time and uh, read that this weekend. You probably have a solid trading plan. Uh, if you don't, you need to have one. Uh, once you have the strategy, it's about sticking to it. There's no system out there that's 100%. You just have to uh, be able to have more winners than losers and be able to uh, be patient and disciplined for your setup. All right, that concludes an insight and to the daily trend. Feel free to stop by tradingfibs.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information. My mantra of one simple strategy, any market, any chart, any time frame will keep you disciplined. You can find me every day on Twitter at Trading Fibs. And as always, I leave the crystal ball to the experts. I only trade what's in front of me and on my charts. And as always, leave your bias at the door when trading. Have yourselves a Blue Zone weekend. Good day, good night, and wherever you may be, good trading. Have a good weekend. See you next week. Peace out.